so hi everyone, uh, my name is Yo Yehudi, um, and I'm here to talk to you today about BioJS. So, is that? There we go. Okay, so BioJS is basically a suite of tools based in JavaScript. Um, so unlike some of the other bio uh, projects, it's not actually a library itself, but instead um, a set of tools that other people can reuse. So it's largely data visualizations, but not exclusively. It also includes some, um, some parsers, for example, and command line based tools running in Node. Um, and it is a few years old. Recently it got a little bit dusty, let's say. So we've been trying to polish it off and make things look a bit nicer, and a bit more modern, um, and make sure everything works. Uh, so recently we have been doing some things like we updated our registry. So if you go to biojs.net, you can see a list of the BioJS components that exist to uh, work with biological data. Um, so that was with the help of a couple of fantastic Google Summer of Code students. Um, and at the recent Biohackathon in France, we managed to do a few, few things like get the training site back up and we're working on trying to get a gold star um, mark for the really good components in BioJS so that you can quite easily find the, the really good ones that are standards compliant and easy to work with. Um, so you can see a, a couple of examples of components there, those are both protein visualization components. The top one is for complexes and the one below is uh, 3D visualizations. So these are a couple of the ones that have been contributed from all around the globe. So it is a lot of different people who have um, basically packaged them for BioJS. Um, so it's not um, that we create all of these components. So if you create anything that is a JavaScript based visualization or parser that you want to let other people reuse, then you can also add your components to the registry. Um, so the main goals, I think, for uh, while we're at the hackathon are one, to get that good quality mark up and running with a good set of standards that we can say these are the really important things like readmes and easy initialization, preview images, so on. Um, and the other thing is that if anyone is interested in getting their tools onto the BioJS registry, um, I would like to speak to you to um, help you do so, or maybe to get your opinion on things that could be improved on the BioJS registry. Um, and I think, oh yes, how you can help us. So if you are a JavaScript person and you've worked with web components, I would love to speak to you because I haven't, but that is one of the things that we would like to do. We'd like to make a, a part of the standard for BioJS components to be using web components. Um, if you have been working on or you have some ideas for a component, some sort of visualization that might be interesting, we'd love to hear from you. Um, and even if you've never worked with JavaScript before, we actually have some training at training.biojs.net. So you could give, a, give it a bit of a go, see if you can maybe start making your very own first component. Um, and, and or give us feedback on the training website itself if you have any thoughts about it. And I will have some nice stickers that I can share with people. They will arrive tomorrow when my luggage turns up. <laughs> I think that's everything from me. Um, so I'm based at Intermine in the University of Cambridge, um, part of Goss Mecklen's group. I think he comes here quite a lot of years, although not this year. Um, and you can find me on the Slack or any of those uh, contact methods. So thank you very much, everyone. <laughs> okay. Thank you.